Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take my hair down. Oh my god, I don't want to take it down. I've been getting like so many compliments on it. I haven't had to touch my hair when I wake up. Like it's been such a blessing. But I also haven't been taking care of it. And as you see, it looks like this. Also, we are about to push two months. So it's about that time for it to come down anyways. So first things first, of course, take my hair down. Once I get it to the braids, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. But once I get it to the braids, then I'm going to take the braids down with a deep condition. And then we're going to deep condition my hair before I go in to wash it. I need a faster way to do this. This is going to take me all day. Ugh, y'all finna be getting so many hair vlogs because I love planning my hair. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm finna do to all my head. This is actually supposed to be an overnight cream, but I am not gonna lie to y'all. I am not gonna use it overnight. I did see results when I did use it overnight. I'm not gonna lie. So if you do want an overnight cream, um, this Miel's Moisture Overnight Conditioner is really, really good. I'm just gonna be taking this comb, comb it out the braid, spraying water where it's needed. So after I got that section combed out, I am going to go in with the Miel's just a little bit because it's only a small section. Making sure to focus on my ends because baby day is dry and I need a trim. Just gonna massage that into my hair and then I'm gonna comb it out. And then I'm just gonna leave it because I'm not gonna twist it up because there's gonna be too many twists in my head. So I was gonna get fancy you guys, but I really don't want to. So all I'm gonna do is put this conditioner all over my head. And I'm just coming out with my fingers, getting all like any loose hair and stuff. Oh God, and it's already itching. And then I'm just gonna put a plastic bag over it. Now you can do a plastic bag or you can do a plastic cap, but regardless, just anything that'll accumulate heat. You can even go in with a blow dryer. So you can just do a plastic cap, but I did a plastic bag because that's the closest thing that I had. And I'm just gonna pretty much let this sit on my head for a while. I'm going to go get me some food. I'm going to take my test. I might end up taking both tests. So I'm just gonna let this sit and I'll come back to you guys and let you know how long I let this sit in my hair.
guys okay so i'm back with a fresh everything fresh body fresh hair and so i tie my hair up in a shirt i just don't use a towel specifically because it'll pull my hair versus a shirt you see how i just glide it off and then pull nothing i'll see you guys the sun is going down so if the lighting is like darker or it seems like that that's why I was going to record this tomorrow, but I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and do my hair tonight. That way I don't have to worry about it tomorrow, even though I'm going to still have to worry about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair into four sections. And in each of those four sections, I'm going to split into two. So I'm going to have my hair into eight sections. Working with the first section, I'm going to, since it's already going to be wet, the first section you don't necessarily do too much to. But you do want the section to be damp, so if it's not damp, I do add a little bit of water tea. But with that damp section, I'm just going to take my leave-in conditioner. This is the Miel's leave-in conditioner. And then I just twist that section up and then I'm going to do that to my entire head. So instead of twisting the section after I come out, I am going to braid the section. Also, it's not going to be no tight braid. It's going to be a very loose braid. The amount that of the leave conditioner that you should be determined on the section that you work with so i've been averaging about two to three pumps per section leave my hair like this and then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and show you guys what I do once it dries before I actually get started on what I do this morning I wanted to put you guys on to this this multi beauty multi gummy is the bomb y'all so as y'all see my nails are still on and they are still in tag normally my nails fall off within like a month and y'all they are still on like I'm gonna have to manually take my nails off and I hate doing that well, now I think I love doing that because they are staying on. I haven't tested out with the hair just yet, but definitely if it works on the nails and it's building my nails up, I'm pretty sure it works on the hair as well. But if you guys are looking for a multi-gummy, 
this multi gummy is your friend okay okay oh all right so when i wake up in the morning i'm this is what i'm working with <laughs> so i basically am going to take my braids down so the braids are not going to be fully dry which is what we love i don't want them to be fully dry but i also don't want them to be fully wet either so damp pretty much brush it into a freaking eye bun. <laughs> now I'm gonna brush it up into a little afro, so an afro. What do you even call this style? I don't know y'all, but this is what I've been doing. So I don't add any products to it or anything just in case I decide to braid it like in the next few days. Now of course you can get all fancy with it and put gel and stuff on your head, but I like to not put product on my hair um, when doing this style, especially because nine times out of 10, I'm gonna end up taking my hair out of this style because it never lasts long in this style, but this is what I do. If I haven't figured out what I wanted to do yet or if I just need to wait a little bit longer for more time to actually do my hair. But honestly, on the contrary, this is what I do after I've had a protective style because my hair needs to breathe for a little bit. So I'm just gonna fix this up by spraying some water on it and then combing it out until I get the desired shape that I want. Now I'm just gonna give it some edges and that is the completed look, you guys. Now, sometimes, depending on how fancy I feel or whatever, I will do a new style. But for today's video, we're just going to do the signature high bun. <laughs> Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out another video and I will catch y'all in the next one.